Welcome to One Poem a Day Won't Kill You, a celebration of National Poetry Month. Uh, my name is Lithgow Osborne, and I'll be reading um, a poem by Henry Wordsworth Longfellow, uh, prologue to Giles Corey of Salem Farms. Delusions of the days that once have been, witchcraft and wonders of the world unseen, phantoms of air and necromatic arts, that crushed the weak and awed the stoutest hearts. These are these are themed tonight and vaguely here through the dim mists that crowd the atmosphere. We draw the outlines of weird figures cast in the shadow on the background of the past. Who would believe that in the quiet town of Salem, amid the woods that crown the neighboring hillsides and the sunny farms, that folded safe in their paternal arms. Who would believe that in those peaceful streets where the great elms shut out the summer heats, where quiet reigns and breathes through brain and breast the benediction of unbroken rest? Who would believe such deeds could find a place as these whose tragic, whose tragic history we retrace? Twas but a village then, the goodman plowed his ample acres under sun or cloud, the good wife at her doorstep sat and spun and gossiped with her neighbors in the sun. The only men of dignity and state were then the minister and the magistrate, who ruled their little realm with an iron rod, less in the love than in the fear of God. And who would believe devoutly in the powers of darkness working in this world of ours, in spells of witchcraft, incantations, dread, and shrouded apparitions of the dead. Upon this simple folk with fire and flame, saith the old chronicle, the devil came, scattering his fire brands and his poison darts to set on fire the hell all tongues and hearts. And tis no wonder, for with all his host, where he most rages, he hateth most. And is most hated, so on us he brings, all these stupendous and portentous things. Something of this our scene tonight will show, and ye who listen to this tale of woe, be not too swift in casting the first stone, nor think New England bears the guilt alone. The sudden burst of wickedness and crime, when in all lands that lie within the sound of Sabbath bells, a witch was burned or drowned.